Acoustic guitar wizard Trace Bundy has a beautiful style of playing. Which he has honed since buying his first six string at a garage sale at the ripe old age of 10. Arts District producer Scott Jones visited Trace where he explained how he makes his signature sound. My name is Trace Bundy. Uh, I live in Louisville, Colorado, and I play guitar. I originally discovered the acoustic guitar, it was kind of by accident. I grew up in a little town called Buena Vista out in the mountains and my brother and I were walking around town one day, I was, I was probably 10 years old and, and my older brother and I found a yard sale and they're selling an acoustic guitar for $10 actually and, and I, I literally had $5 in my pocket my brother had $5. So we bought this little acoustic guitar and we took it home and we bought one of those guitar magazines that say like, you know, play these five heavy metal songs and my brother is really into Metallica. So the first song I ever played on this little junky acoustic guitar was by Metallica. I have a really bad singing voice. And so I ended up putting all of my energy into the, the guitar. And I started finger picking, coming up with melodies, and then I kind of realized I could play the guitar with one hand. And that was a, a, a turning point for me because I remember looking at this hand and thinking like, what do I do? And I, I hit the guitar, I played some notes up here, and ended up coming up with some techniques that helped me write some innovative songs. The reason I love the acoustic guitar is there's so many kind of ways to play it and so many ways you can make it even sound like other instruments. You know, you can make it sound like a guitar, but also, you know, when you kind of hit back here, it's like a, a deep kind of kick drum. You've got like a snare here. You have all these different drum notes, so. So you can play it like a drum kit. You can also play it like a bell. So if you hit these harmonics, it kind of sounds like a bell like ringing out. You can play it like a piano, you know, with the two hand stuff where you're doing the bass and the melody and. And so you have all these different ways to, to take what was meant to be just a one kind of style of playing and then play it with all these different ways that, that kind of recreate almost what you do in other instruments all on one acoustic guitar which is pretty cool to have an instrument that versatile. Joy and Sorrow it's one of my favorite songs to play. I use both of these two guitars. The, the darker guitar there I'm playing in the key of D minor which is like the sad key. It's, uh, so it's, it's the sorrow part of the song and then in this guitar here I'll be playing in D major which is this joyful key. And so I get them set up and I create a loop with some beats going and then I, I start in the minor key and then play through that, put that down, grab the other guitar and, and then I'm playing all of a sudden in D major, this joyful key. And it ends up being kind of a conversation back and forth between these two opposite emotions. When I look out and I see the audience and having fun and with smiles on their faces, that's just the best. I go into each show with the intention of trying to bring joy. When I see people experiencing joy and leaving with a smile on their face, like I know I did my job at that point. It was always my dream, I think, as a kid to have a career in the arts. And not many people get to do that. I don't hold that lightly. This is a gift to be able to do this.
wow, that was just gorgeous. It did take my brain just a second to wrap itself around a guitar that doesn't have a sound hole, though. I know, that's so interesting, right? Yeah. If you'd like to see more of Trace Bundy's music, find it at the link below.